Hey everybody, let's talk a little bit more about magnets and how they interact safely with our implanted devices. Now I have a, a video out there already that talks about defibrillators and how those react when a magnet gets too close to them. We're gonna talk about pacemakers today. First thing to remember is that our devices are designed to safely interact with magnets. Magnets will not harm our implanted devices. They will not shut off programming. They won't turn off the device. They won't reprogram the device. They won't reset it back to factory settings. It won't do anything like that because our devices are designed to safely interact with magnets. Pacemakers and defibrillators are designed to react safely to magnets and in a specific way, but the way they react is different. If you place a magnet on top of your implanted pacemaker, most pacemakers will switch modes. So your pacemaker is in a mode right now, right? It's uh, designed specifically for you. It's based on the kind of device you have and the kind of lifestyle you have. And then within that mode, there's different program parameters, the way your, your device is designed to react. Uh, when you put, place a magnet on top of a pacemaker, most pa pacemakers will switch modes over to what's called an asynchronous mode. Now this means it will no longer be watching your heart to see what your heart does. It will just pace your heart constantly. It doesn't care what your heart's gonna do, it's just gonna constantly pace your heart at a, a steady rate. Uh, with uh, uh, Medtronic devices, it's 85 beats a minute. With other companies, it's either 100 or 110 beats a minute. Uh, they're, they're designed differently, but they basically do the same thing. They switch over to this other mode and it just paces you at a constant rate. Now that's it, that's, that's all it does, is it just changes it over to that constant pacing rate, and it only does that for as long as the magnet is on top of the device. Once you move the magnet away from the device, your device is gonna go right back to the programming that your doctor put into it, you know, back when you were implanted or back at your last office visit. There are some pacemakers that are designed to act a different way, or they can act a different way. They can be programmed, some can, where when you swipe a magnet across the device, it'll record an EKG strip, or, it can be designed in a way where when you swipe a magnet across it, it changes the, pro, the, the way that the, the pacemaker delivers pacing uh, a certain way. So it can increase pacing or it can decrease pacing. But those devices, if they are programmed to do that specifically, you will know. Those are features that are used in specific instances. And if your doctor has programmed your pacemaker that way, they will have told you that so that you can know how to, how to use a magnet to interact with your device. That's really it. I mean, it's, it's safe to be around magnets. Uh, a magnet will need to be pretty close to your device to activate that switch over to the other mode, usually within one to two inches. Uh, for a really powerful magnet, you know, four, five, maybe six inches. Uh, but it's safe to handle magnets. It's safe to be around them. Uh, it, it's not going to damage your device again. And if it does switch modes, as soon as you move that magnet away from your device, it's going to switch right back to your normal programming. No harm done.